fight back! You coward, fight back! Whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the inside human and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying this journey of high quality nerd commentary, you got my son Colton, aka Pizza Parker. Talk to the people. It was your man Colton, aka Baltimore. You feel me? Because all I do is Baltimore than other niggas. You feel me? And then, uh, aka uh, CT Magical CTE. We back. Aka Dumbledore, baby. <laughs> we back at it, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> No! Kill me! It's definitely me. Um, we also have my son Gas floating around doing his thing out here. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. And uh, you know who it is? Your boy Dennis, aka Old Dirty Dennis, aka Pottermore, the Potter who cannot be named, nigga, aka Denny Potter and the Half Crip Prince, yes, nigga. Yes, sir. Yes. Y'all sir. like that one? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> welcome to another issue of the Mighty Man Humans podcast, bro. How you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty great. Um, so yeah, you guys know we do these um uh Harry Potter reviews. You know what I mean? Uh, people, this is like one of our most popular series that we've done. Especially me being a first time watcher, I guess it's really fun to kind of see my uh, reactions and shit too. Um, yeah, like we are now up to Harry Potter and the Half Print, uh, Half Blood Prince. Uh, I know you had something to say just now. All right. So, just going to get this off the rip. You're going to hear me be kind of harsh towards this movie. I know you guys heard me be very neutral to every other movie so far, basically. Or favorable to some movies so far. This movie is... How can I say this? It's the equivalent to... to like magical belly to me. Half of it is like magical belly. More than half of it is like magical belly. Like it's just beautiful. But like, what is happening for real? And why did a lot of this stuff happen? Oh my god! I could imagine as a Potter parent when this came out and you had a child, and now this is me talking to my child. <laughs> hey, Junior, I'm a Potter parent. I'm a pothead, not in the way you probably think, in the Potter way. <laughs> I'm a Potterhead. I shouldn't have said Potterhead instead of Pothead. But anyway, I want to take you to see a Harry, your first Harry Potter movie. I know your whole life I've been talking to you about how great Harry Potter is and how magical the world is and how amazing the world is and like how the movies are beautiful. I know you, I probably haven't shown you the other movies because... We can't afford DVDs. I'm throwing that into the story. We can't afford DVDs. Your dad lost his job. Your dad lost his job. <laughs> I had to sell a DVD player, so I had to read you all the books and act it out myself. And I know you think that these are the greatest things ever. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the real thing for the first time. I got a job. And now you're going to see this movie for the first time. And then they go and watch this shit. Everyone's trying to get their dick sucked. <laughs> and... A lot of nothing is happening. And then oh, it's shit. like a, a Ron love triangle. And Doesn't now you're just like, what the fuck is this movie about? Bro. Niggas is talking about people's skin. You're so, just like, uh-huh. what is happening? So I definitely took notes. So like, it definitely starts off, it feels like some sort of Lady Gaga paparazzi video. Because it was man random beginning with like, Harry and Dumbledore kind of like walking through like this dark place. And people are like taking photos and pictures. And he's just like blocking his face from the light. And it's just like, what am I watching? Okay, whatever. I guess, you know, this is one of those callbacks that we're going to get hey, man. like later on. And it's like, okay, cool. So, shit is going forward. Um, I like that uh, my son V. Diddy is making moves from the rip. Like, you literally see... We back. The, the, yeah, that's I, that's why I sat up. Like, I was, I'm like, oh, we we already here? We Gang back. is here? Nigga? Okay. Death eaters. So, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? The eaters, nigga. Real eaters, nigga. We doing it. <laughs> So you see the the giant cloud skeleton in the sky, and then you see the Death Eaters just flying out. These niggas is wilding; the they jump in shots. You know burning. what I mean? These niggas is fucking with bridges and shit. I'm like, oh, we turning, we turning up. up. Like, turning up. okay, this is this is how you drive, nigga. That From ass. now on, nigga, this is how this you is drive. how you drive, That's nigga. <laughs> so these niggas is wild. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, we find out that it's summertime again or whatever, and uh. Pot, pot, uh, Harry is reading this in like a newspaper or whatever. Okay. 
he's there, he's chilling. The first thing I noticed is like the quality of like film is like it's way crazy, better. Yeah. Like they this is I, I don't know what year this came out in, but you can tell there was a shift from the first one to this one. Like the one, probably the budget, two, the cameras these niggas was using, like everything looks crisp now. It looks it looks way better. Um Again, like 2009. I said, it's 2009. Okay, yeah, that's a reasonable time for like uh, the the shift that I'm talking about in um, film. Um, it's summertime again, and I didn't appreciate when I was watching this because by the time y'all hear this, we already recorded this shit and it was um, Black History Month, nigga. I don't know how I feel about Harry Potter jumping on my black queen like Yo. that, bro. I don't know how I feel First about of all, that for real, nigga. I see it in a different light. I said, oh, that's Denny Potter on the screen. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going <laughs> on. I say, yo, that's that. This is not some Harry Potter <laughs> shit. Like he wouldn't do Yo, it. This wouldn't happen. His his riz was so crazy. He didn't even find out. She told him before he even asked her what time she get off. Nigga. All I'm saying is he that. Said, Yo, eleven. Finally, the clout has paid off. Yo, it's fine. Fin- it's after finally- being abused for six years straight. Finally. The clout has paid I off. I don't start a movie under like the steps, nigga. I'm in yo, a, da- I'm, I'm in, eating outside. I'm in a cafe. <laughs> a black I'm shorty not, telling yo, me what time she get it's off. It's up, nigga. It's up. Yo. So he's sitting there, you know what I mean? His riz is on fire. He's like, yo, I got I did her, this. Nigga. I did it's this. Lit. I'm finna go on a date, y'all. He even, yo, his wrist so high, he was like, I ain't, I don't even know Harry Potter. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's crazy. She was like, yo. She's like, you, you. Like, you look like Harry Potter. You look like Harry Potter. I know it's you. Like, he yo, said, I yo, I stop mean, playing. Keep it. Keep it low. He said, "Keep it low. Chill. It's me, low. Come on, chill, chill, Look. chill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, chill, chill. Hold it down. Hold yo, it down." She said, "Eleven. Eleven. She didn't even. Ask, he didn't even say like, yo, like you trying to meet up. She was just like, eleven. He That's why I get off. She said, eleven. <laughs> he said, oh, okay. Yo, so he feeling himself. That now, nigga right? was on fire. Yo. I'm like, okay, like and I might then, end up, I might not be familiar with Harry's game. Like, I don't know what's going on. But immediately, hate. immediately, hate, 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 hate. Why, he got, double- why he got one black shorty? I got no black shorty. <laughs> Tell me no fucked up. Bitchless. <laughs> Mad bitchless. No hoes. No sauce, nothing, nigga. And was in, uh, in pajamas. In pajamas. Like, yo. We got like go. your crazy uncle just showed yeah, up. This is when Harry's about to wait for this fine dime brizzle. Yo, he like, nah, we gotta go. <laughs> you couldn't wait. We you gotta, couldn't wait. We gonna do this tomorrow. Here's where he even gets more. Than, here's where he like even embarrasses the nigga. He's like, grab my hand in front of the bad bitch. Grab my hand, Harry Potter. Word. This bad bitch. And Harry's like looking at the bad bitch, like, hold on, wait. She gonna get the bro. wrong idea, bro. Come, Come on. on man. What are you bro. Doing? You he wait. like grabbed my hand in front of this bad bitch, nigga. And then he <laughs> did it. And then they, they trans- teleported. You know what I mean? So now they teleport to like, I don't know where they are, but they teleport to this crib. They're like going through shit. You know what I mean? Um, it's the shit is fucked up. Uh oh, bro. And I thought we was about to get some true detective shit because all of a sudden, like, blood is dripping. And this nigga look up, blood drips on him, and Dumbledore, like, wipes it off. I'm like, oh, shit, shit is about to turn up. Shit is about to live. He's talking, it's like some dragon blood. I'm like, niggas got dragons in this episode? I was like, okay, let's turn up. Then all of a sudden, you see, like, this couch, and Dumbledore does, like, his little wand shit, and the couch is literally a dude hiding in the couch, which is insane. Insane that this that nigga, nigga decided to just reholster himself into a couch, nigga, and just sit there. It's like it's like the prop hunt game. Yeah, it was just like okay, cool. They could just turn into a couch. So like, he's just like, yeah, nah, you know this one. My I feel like that's a waste of abilities. Like, I'm like, yo, you could turn into anything else, but, bro. Like, but okay, nigga, somebody gonna sit on you at some point. Exactly. Weird. He's so, a sick bitch. He's now a- I'm thinking about it. He a fucking sicko. <laughs> nigga turned himself into a nah. He's a, a nasty pervert. We have to look at this guy. Who is this guy? Why are you turning yourself into a fucking couch a ca- a chair? So this nigga transforms like Optimus, nigga, and returns back to normal. And and uh, uh Dumbledore's like, yo, Harry, that's my son. That's my man's right there. We go way back. And he's like, yo, uh, uh, that's my man, couch. Yeah, so, I, I, <laughs> Slughorn. Self explained. You know what I mean? Uh, you, I don't even gotta explain who this is. He's like, nah, I know who that is. So, I at love this point, this I'm like, yo, this nigga Riz is He fanned out. He son? fanned out. He was fanned out. Yo, niggas just know you everywhere. Yeah, I know. Bro. We love this nigga. Like, like he's yo, the you really that nigga, son? So they start talking or whatever. Uh, he shows, um, like Dumbledore's like still looking around for whatever he's looking around for, pretending to. 
And uh, you know, Harry has a moment to talk to to Slughorn or whatever, and he shows him some like old pictures and shit with his mom, blah, blah, blah. And Dumbledore comes back and was like, nah, I ain't find it. Like, we could just leave. And he's just like, yo, but we just went through, like, you fucked up my date and all this shit. And he's just like, nah, we could just we could just leave, bro. And Slughorn's just like, yo, so you're not gonna try to recruit me? He's like, nah, nigga, I know your answer. It's cool. So this nigga's reverse gaslighting this nigga. He's just like, yo, yeah, nah, it's cool. Me. Like, I know you're not even going. You could. Not even you just want to be a couch. Be a couch. Just be bro. a couch, bro. Be it's a cool. Nasty, it's cool. Like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave with the chosen one, and we just gonna leave. We just gonna chill. Know what I mean, my bad. We didn't. That's my my fault I that I fucked up. You know what I mean? You're couching. Know what I mean, like you was couching and we fucked it up. My my bad. So that they leave, they walk outside, and like two later, two seconds later, with the player jog, Slum Lord, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm whatever job, like whatever you pay, nigga, like I'm just, I'm cool. I'm, I'm with it, with the shits. So these niggas leave. He takes this nigga. Uh, right before any of that happens, the first, as soon as he's just like, yo, I'll be a teacher. I'm triggered, cause I've been watching Harry Potter for a while now, and you just can't you trust just these can't teachers, be- nigga. Every hiring. single teacher, and these in our hired, face, son. they showed us that they just be hiring anybody. He was a couch, bro. <laughs> you hired <laughs> a couch. <laughs> We don't even know if that's a sentient couch no. at this point. That <laughs> like, might not you, even be a nigga. That you, could be an actual couch. You hired a couch, bro. Like, so anyway, this nigga gets hired. Like I said, I'm triggered because I'm just like, I don't, mm, I don't, I'm not fucking with this. I don't, I don't like this at all. Whatever. He turns the house back normal before they leave or whatever, and uh, he teleports him to, um, he teleports Harry back to the squad, like to Ron. Hermione, we get to see these niggas. And the first thing that popped in my head is like, these niggas are grown. These oh, niggas dude, are, are adults. adults. These niggas look like the Stranger Thing kids, I'm nigga. Crying, these yeah, niggas this are is the adults, transition nigga. Nigga. They were like, I was like, oh, puberty hit these niggas. These niggas are adults now. I'm like, okay, I hope y'all are wrapping these movies up soon. Yeah, these, dead ass. <laughs> these niggas got jobs and shit. Like, no these... So anyway, um, uh, random to me was the first set of horny because this nigga pulls up and before anybody else gets to greet him, before the squad greets him, Ron's younger sister is just like, Harry's here. And she's just like lit off this nigga. So I'm like, yo, his Riz is, he already got two it's bitches. It's been 20 yeah. minutes into the movie. He, he got already, two bitches and an old nigga. I was <laughs> and a couch. No, two <laughs> and bitches couch. and a couch. I was like, like yo, okay. Like, damn. okay. Did something happen between these movies that I need to know? It's just summer, nigga. Like, nah, it's, my boy Riz I'm not going to lie. Immaculate. I'm not going to lie. If y'all go back and y'all watch some of like the old, um, Episodes that we did with Harry Potter, and I was making fun of this nigga Summer and ha- not having no bitches. I feel like he heard me. He nigga. heard it. Yeah, he, he upped his bitches. Twenty to, minutes. Like, Cho Chang. Yeah, like a yo, bunch of bitches. Nigga, like yo, anybody on deck. that breathes was just fucking with this nigga yo, Harry. That nigga. ass. It was real. So Jenny rolls up like hugging this nigga. Like she looked like she about to kiss this nigga. I'm like, yo, you. Where did this come from? Like, yeah, it came out of nowhere. It this really is weird, nowhere. but okay. Then the rest of the squad, you know, they're just, like, happy to see him or whatever. Like, it's super excited because it's like, yo, we ain't seen my nigga all summer. Like, then they start talking about Hogwarts. And he's, Ron is just like, yo, my mom wasn't going to let us go back because, you know, shit's been kind of crazy these that last ass. few movies. You know what I mean? Niggas keep trying to kill you. That and ass. we getting involved. And, part of it, and so. my, now my mom's just like, no, nigga. Yeah, you, you might not have to go You might have to, to go with your, 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 um, your uncle and your cousin and your sister in Bel Air, nigga. Like we that can't ass. have we can't have Don't you going job, back to man. yeah, we can't have you going back to Hogwarts, nigga. Like it's over for that shit. But he's just like, yeah, and, and Hermione said the same and she was like, yo, my parents are muggles, nigga, and yeah. even they're just like, "Yo, some shit don't seem right with this Hogwarts that thing, ass. bro." Like, we don't, we can't sense it, but it don't seem right at all. So, like, they're all just like, you know, we might not go back. And then, like, uh, Ron was like, "Nah, you know, my dad talked that into it. And was just like, yo, you gotta let him be a man. He got experience, shit. You know what I mean? We was out here smoking weed. These niggas got killers on the like things that change. Ass. Like, you gotta let them grow." So we're able to go back, and he's like, "All right, cool." So like, all these niggas are going back to um to Hogwarts or whatever. Uh, at that point, while all this shit is going on, uh, I think we have a moment where I think they're on the train or some shit, like going back. Yeah, yeah, they're on the train or whatever. And everyone before, actually, before the train, the reason why the parents didn't want them to go back is because they were like, "Yo, that nigga Dumbledore, bro." That nigga washed up, son. Like, I don't, <laughs> yeah. th- I don't think you should they go back to that seen school, the magical son. CTE like we've been like, talking you know what? about. He I don't know. be hiring that. For the last six years, he's been hiring everybody. Yeah, and they all been trying to kill y'all. And 
this nigga kind of old now, bro. Yeah. He don't got he like Jordan on the Wizards, bro. I don't think he got it no more. Like he got maybe one more fifty they point game. Right. They was kind of right, and <laughs> they was kind of right. <laughs> what a callback! Because <laughs> some niggas were right. <laughs> kind of right. Damn. Sometimes you gotta listen to your parents. <laughs> ass. It's crazy. Um. So yeah. Uh. We get to um. Oh, so we get we catch a conversation with Nars, uh, Narcissa and Bellatrix and Snake yeah. or whatever, because uh, they they were like in this room and uh, they're talking about Draco, my son, Soldier Boy. They talking about my son, Soldier Boy, and it's like, yo, you gotta watch out for my kid, bro, because you know what I mean. Like the big homie, he got, he gave him a mission. He gotta accomplish that shit. He's just like, yo, I'm a, I got him, and Bellatrix is just like, nah. Pinky swear it, nigga. Magic pinky swear, it, nigga. And he looked like he was just like, damn. I can't even lie my way out of this shit. So he had to do it. Did the magic, uh, magical pinky swear. You know what I mean? So he's bound to it now. He gotta do it. Gotta do that shit. Which is crazy to me, but it's like, it's like, it's like saying, it's like magical, yo, on my mama. Like, <laughs> <That's literally>. pinky, <laughs> magical, pinky yo, on my mama, son. Like, I gotta do it now. So I'm looking at him like, damn, this nigga's like a traitor now, son. Like, that's bitch fucked ass up. nigga. That's fucked I should have known. You was always a hating ass yo. nigga hater. So and they were like, yo, if Draco don't finish the job, you gonna do it? He was like, yeah. And then they made that nigga pinky swear, son. So he gotta do it now. Whatever it is, he gotta yeah. do it. So I'm already mad because I ain't like that shit. Because now you one, you talking down my son, big Draco, like he can't get jobs done himself. And I mean, I don't like that shit. And then two. You got this nigga being a traitor, so I don't fuck with that. So anyway, um, we get a look around uh, Magical Fulton Mall, which is what I called I'm it. Crying. I love <laughs> and that place. Honestly, it looked like post COVID Fulton Mall. I'm crying. <laughs> it was empty as fuck, bro. Ain't no store. Wasn't there like that. <laughs> Niggas don't got the money no more, bro. It's mad for signs for uh, Crazy uh, uh rent sales. Sale, oh, yeah, man. it's looking mad crazy out there. I, was, I, I just kind of felt the way looking at that. Um. But yeah, they did notice uh, this nigga Malfoy moving kind of sus, which is easy because this nigga's in all black. He's all with like a team of niggas nigga. that they've never seen before, and they just moving in the shadows. Like, yeah, you moving with sus niggas. Like, like you're not even trying to like blend in the sus. Like, y'all just got the sus like on blast now. So these niggas, like, they literally uh, Harry follows them because he was just like something ain't right with that visibility cloak. Yeah. So. I thought that shit was funny because, you know, he used the cloak and, like, n- actually before he used the cloak, the three of them showed up and they were, like, watching because they're like, why is he, why are they going to this store? Like, what is going on yeah. in this store that these niggas, but, you know, they didn't really see anything happen. So, like, they end up peeling off or whatever. Now, <clears throat> we move on to the train scene, which is now because everybody's going back to Hogwarts because, you know, um, summer's over. I mean, we go back to school or whatever. This niggas, Harry's just like, yo, I don't trust Big Draco, son. That nigga's Big up. Draco he up. He's he moving weird, bro. And y'all seen it. And they're like, yo, wait, we don't got proof of nothing. He's like, I'm gonna give me some proof. So I'm gonna I'm 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 watch this watch this shit right here. So this nigga puts on the invisibility cloak. And I thought this shit was funny because I like the I like um progress and growth. So this nigga does the invisibility cloak. Try to uh, faithful uh, move or whatever, and then like after he gets to Hogwarts, before Draco gets off the because he gets his bag or whatever, and he's like telling the rest of them like, "Go ahead, go ahead ahead of me." He stands by the door and was he turns around, he shoots, and like you literally see Harry Potter on the floor. And the first thing that went into my head is like. The, the thing, thing about, about the, the old, old days, days, nigga. They the old days. They the old days, days nigga. I ain't a, that I ain't old shit don't no work no more, son. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm grown. You're not. I'm dead ass evil. Shit, <laughs> that dead. whimsical shit, nigga, it don't work no more, they son. Also I don't them in the care. fucking face. Yo, I was like, oh, we turn up. Real quick. We turn up for this movie, huh? Fuck you. And then what made the shit oh, funnier is like it. after he left this nigga paralyzed, he was like, yo, enjoy the ride back home, nigga. And then guess what? The and train. The I was like, yo, so he's not even him. going. Yo, you about to let this so, nigga home, son? Y'all let this nigga. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> that yo. was ill. I was like, okay, I'm fucking like, with this. Bad time. Yeah, I was like, okay. I liked it. I was like, in big Draco, nigga. <laughs> nigga, the worst. But he did it. Yeah, I like your timing, son. This nigga's going crazy right now. So they, uh, he's lucky because Luna bumps into this nigga. And I wasn't mad because I fuck with Luna because she's weird, but she kind of like that cool weird person that you know that into some weird shit, but you vibe with but them. But she always right. Also. She always right. So she pulls up, she saves this nigga. 
they come to the school now, and the school looks like, and y'all can Google this if you're not from New York or like, um, you you weren't around for this. It literally looks like South Shore when I was in high school with the metal detectors and shit, nigga. Yeah, because shit Cause, was crazy. Yo, because the Death Eaters, nigga. nigga. So they pull up and like niggas is searching through their bags and shit now. The 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 gate. Is like an electric fence, like flies were like getting shocked by the gate. I was like, these niggas go to South Shore too, nigga. I feel it, bro. <laughs> nigga, okay. Baltimore was out and they chosen ones in the school. Yo, so, so I, I I fuck with it, but then at the same time, it also hurt my heart because I saw Snape when this nigga pulled up with the the cane or whatever, and they were like, "What is this? This look like a weapon." And then Snape was like, "Nah, he good. I already uh, I already like uh." Uh, checked off on that. He signed off on that. He good with the king. Go ahead, go ahead. And I'm like, yo, this nigga really a bad guy now. So yeah, he's really evil. He really, he really on bad times. Yeah, but I knew he was a bitch. So. I ain't like that shit. But anyway, like, um, so these niggas get to the school. Uh, like I said, what's the name saves his ass, and then um, we get a moment. <laughs> we get a moment where like everybody, uh, uh, Slughorn gets introduced as the the new potions master or whatever. Yeah. And I thought it was funny because Dumbledore explained... I do like that they took the time to do that. He explained why they have all this new security and, you know, the magical pat-downs and detectors and shit. Just like, yo, niggas is dying. And it's crazy because the reason why niggas is dying is because of a student that used to come here. Y'all enjoy y'all night, though, so I'm about to go to sleep. I know. I was like, whoa. Okay, that's a lot of information to drop on and then just leave. You just gonna tell us this on our first day back, nigga? Like... A lot of information to just drop on niggas. <laughs> and it's just like, yo, I, y'all stay cool. Like, y'all be cool. Y'all be cool how y'all be don't cool, worry. my nigga. Uh, maybe don't worry. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right. So, anyway, we fast forward to, like, Horace. He's, like, teaching these niggas potions and shit. Explaining how uh, the, the potion shit works. And it's like, okay. I guess this is cool because it's a magic school or whatever. And um, Harry shows up late with Ron. And they're, like, fighting for, like, the last textbook or whatever. Yeah. And Ron wins. Ron's bigger than fucking Harry. So he gets the other book. And in the other book is actually all the actual ingredients you need to do the spell correctly. So this nigga literally, I'm watching the movie like, I'm like, yo, this nigga fucking Harry Potter again finds a way to fucking cheat. Yo, this listen, nigga just... listen. It's called plot armor, brother. <laughs> Every and we and main movie. characters get that, dude. Every we get fucking cheated. movie. We get maps that show us how where everybody is, man. We get fucking textbooks with all the answers and all the fucking potions, dude. I was just like, yo, wait, what? I was like, okay, so one. Never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Message. I, I found it funny because the textbooks were telling these niggas the wrong information the whole time. Yeah, what the fuck? On some third eye shit. It's like, yo, follow your own intuitions, brother. Like, don't follow what niggas tell you in school. Like, you got to do shit your own way. Because Hermione was following that shit to a T, and her shit was fucking up. Meanwhile, Harry was following the, the cheater, the, the spark notes, and this nigga got the whole shit correctly, son. I thought that shit was funny just because it's just like, yo, Harry Potter, fucking again, bro. Like, again, this nigga gets some shit handed to him on some unfair shit. Anyway, typical Harry uh, privilege or whatever. Um, Dumbledore invites this nigga uh, back to his, like, the chambers or whatever to talk about Voldemort. He's just like, yo, bro, like, you know, um, I have, like, this this thing here. Like, it, it looked like it was Funko's, but it was really just, like, a, a vials of fucking memories and shit, like, that he has of Tom Riddle. And he's just like, yo, I want you to see the first. E-. I'm like, why, why does he just get this privilege? Like, he's like, yo, I want you to see the first ever memory I have. Tom Riddle, nigga. So we got like a little flashback of uh this nigga little baby yo, This nigga Dumbledore in that moment was like Professor X pulling nigga up on jeans, son. Suit. This nigga pulled up was Three like, yo, suit. you have powers? Yo, I got power. Look, look how I like that shit on fire, nigga. And in my mind, it's like, yo, you've been a bad teacher since then. Since because you, then. you see you how this him. kid is a psychopath, bro. You could have stopped him. He was given psychopath. It's psychopathic energy as a child, and you're just like, yo, so come to our school. I can teach you more. I can make you more dangerous. Just come to my and he school. Did. He made and him he the fucking, most dangerous. Yo. <laughs> it's like, yo, like maybe he's good at something at being bad. <laughs> it's like, yo, what are you doing? Bro? Maybe he should have been a villain teacher. Yo, honestly, like this nigga's really good at it. Um, so yeah, like he he literally and the the last thing before um 
he leaves is uh because he's like, yeah, you know, you have exceptional abilities. I want you to come back to the school. And he's like, yeah, you know, um, randomly he's just like, yeah, and uh, I could talk to snakes. They tell me things. They whisper. I'm not taking you to school, bro. <laughs> I'm not teaching you more. Like that's not a, that's a very random thing but to like, share at the end. You have son. The power that is weird. I was like, yo, this nigga's young thug. He's just like, yo, I speak slime English. Speak- <laughs> YSL, nigga. Like, Slat. <laughs> Slat. <laughs> and it's just like, yo, uh, okay. maybe this is not a good student I'm to crying. add to the school. <laughs> like, this is not, this is like when they know. sign, this is like when they sign up niggas to like the police department and you find out this nigga's had a lifelong history with mental illness and violence. And he's just like, yo, just make him a cop. And it's just like, uh. It's like, yeah, he's a cop, but you know, for 15 years, he was in a KKK. Yeah, it was like... We, uh, put him, we put him in the hood. What? <laughs> Why? What the fuck? Why did you do this? It's not helping anything. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, clearly, I probably wouldn't have shared this memory with Harry, because I, if I was Harry, I would have been judging this. But, okay, sure. Um, The Death Eaters, you know, they're still trying to get into the school or whatever, but we got Wakandan shields now, nigga. <laughs> like... <laughs> Them niggas was bouncing off that shit. It was like, oh shit, these niggas got security security now. Heard you. And pretty much like after that, um, we get like this random Quidditch scene with uh Harry is basically running the Quidditch team now, which also made me unreasonably angry because this nigga has shown no athletic ability the entire He's movie. He's catcher. literally just the one that happens to He's catch fast, the golden bro. mosquito twi- in two movies. You can't teach these niggas nothing, bro. Like He's you- the captain, bro. I was he tight, got the most son. scores. I was tight, son. Yeah, that's like telling... It's like telling Tight. Kobe he can't be the captain of the team because he scored the most points. No, nigga. I'm okay with it's 140 points, bro. <laughs> you ain't, so you ain't, what? he ain't dropping triple doubles, so son. What? <laughs> All he did was wait and then they dropped and then he caught it first, nigga. If he was, if he wasn't so good, why other niggas don't catch it first? Let's be real. Because they, they didn't write it that easy. way. <laughs> this fucking nah, plot right, armor, right. nigga. Bro, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's it's just, that, that easy. Why other that, niggas don't be winning? That that <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Because if they did win, like we saw in that movie, these niggas would get extra points from Dumbledore for breathing, nigga. Uh, you're oh, right. oh, 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 right. Harry, nigga, you you you, you threw you threw the trash in the trash can. So that is 150 points for Gryffindor <laughs> for, be, for being thoughtful. You're right. You're right. All right, let's nigga. Go. <laughs> I hate um, this movie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I like this is oh, actually man. one of the ones where I'm just not really enjoying the <laughs> recap. Sorry, listeners, if I'm being too candid right now. Oh my god! We'll all right, continue. so all right, so we moving forward. Um, like I said, it's just more potterganda in my my opinion. Um, rock. Uh, uh Ron has like a moment to shine because there's this like kind of jock, not really a jock, but he's like that perfect kid where he's good at. Uh, athletics and you know he's smart and he's handsome and charismatic and blah 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 and he's kind of worried that you know he about to pull up on Hermione like yeah. this thing is perfect so you know he kind of you know in that moment he was kind of like you know extra competitive but you know Hermione did kind of help cheat like she did move him out the way or whatever so he kind of looked good but in her doing that got Ron uh, uh, a groupie Cause Shorty was oh, like, "Yo, crazy. you are that nigga." And she was sucking. She dick, was, son. She was like, "Yo, body. the way you move, my nigga, is crazy she to said, me." When I son. See you throw that ball. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Ooh." She was like, "Yo, she my nigga, body. how, son?" Like, so anyway, he has a groupie now, whatever, and uh, like they're like walking like through the snow or whatever and like there's these two shorties ahead of them and one of them just started moving mad like crazy and i'm like what the fuck is going on apparently she got curt because she was moving on some exorcist shit i was just like are they gonna explain this like <laughs> she just falls to the ground and then uh i think it was haggard that pulls up and was like yo do not touch that necklace because that shit is cursed and if you touch that you're gonna be fucked up like she is so they wrap it up in some like old parchment paper or whatever and like yeah. take the shit back to to Dumbledore. Now, the teachers are looking at the necklace or whatever and they're like showing this shit. I was pissed. And the only reason I was pissed because 
the necklace is mad swaggerless, bro. It, <laughs> it wasn't even necklace. hard. It wasn't even on some like YMCMB like fire ice. I'm not gonna lie. Cuban link That's chain. That's some Dumbledore shit though. That shit was. Dumbledore boring, is a swaggerless. Man. Oh my god! I was like, who is wearing this to get cursed? He's like, swaggerless. Who, who's wearing this? You Dumbledore would dead ass put it on. <laughs> you can't trick me into this. Dumbledore like, got no swag. I there's no way that. you will get me in this. Was, that shit was some young 19... Dumb- Dumbledore had swag. Old yeah, Dumbledore right. had no swag. Like it was some 1920s. Like hello, my baby. Hello, my to... darling. Swag. Did they think he would have just picked it up with, like his bare hands? Yo, like it was. Yo, that okay. shit was mad whack, son. But anyway, like I said. Random cursed item or whatever. It was supposed to be given to Dumbledore. Um, so all this shit is going on. Like it looked like some family family heirloom shit. But anyway, uh, Slughorn is treating all the like the kids and shit to uh uh dinner or whatever. Like uh yeah, like he it was like a dinner and a dessert type shit. And the whole time this shit is going on, like I'm looking at Harry, like, yo, are you crushing on Ron's sister? Like is this the time? He, yeah. But Rizlord, you know what I mean? Like, he, he can't he, help it. He set the tone in the beginning of the movie. Like, I'm going to get bitches this movie, Dennis. Like, I heard the podcast. He said, I guess it's time. Like, I'm turning up on him. He said, let me show Dennis something, bro. Yeah, quick. let me show this nigga. Let me show this nigga how I get down for real, for real, for real. So, while this shit is going on, Cor- uh, Cormac is going like mad hard to get Hermione's attention. This nigga's like full creep ball. Like, he's like licking the ice cream off his fingers and shit. I'm like, what the hell is happening? Is this not a kids' this whimsical another, magic this is movie? Another like? thing that I kind of didn't like. Like I like, like I feel like when I was younger, I watched Man of this movie and don't remember it because <laughs> now, as an adult, and mm-hmm. I rewatch the movie, I really don't give a fuck about like any of the extra romantic. I don't plots care because a lot of them a kind of don't make sense. Besides like out. Ron and Hermione. That's the only one that kind of makes sense. And then the rest of them, they just start and just end. Mad exactly. Abruptly. Mad or are always like awkward. Like, and it's not awkward in like the Twilight way. It's awkward in like a way where it's like, I don't want to watch this anymore. Can we get past this and get back to the magic? Exactly. So, um, like I said, uh, weird energy with those two. But we do get a moment where... Um, <sighs> It's it's this it, they're in this the the student lounge the next day and Ron doesn't want to do uh the Quidditch shit no more, but Harry's trying to gas him up because earlier in the movie he got like the liquid luck shit because his potion came out mad yeah. perfect because he cheated with the spark notes, so he's like yo I put this shit in the drink and you just gotta drink it and you're gonna be lit. And you're going to win the game, my nigga. And Luna was around to see him do something. She didn't know it was, if yeah. if it really was the liquid luck. And you know she don't lie. Like, she was just like, yo, you put something in his drink? Is that why you're trying to get him to drink it? And he's just showing him, like, the liquid luck. And he's just like, oh, shit. You really my nigga, Harry? That ass. You about to have me lit like fuck out of it, man. So he drank, he, gobbled, he knocks that shit back. He goes out there and this nigga's looking like it looked like the second half of Mighty Ducks, nigga. Like this, <laughs> nigga, this was this was Goldberg, dude. nigga. He could not, he, he caught everything, nigga. See, this is uh, <laughs> empowerment versus put a shirt on, nigga. Because the nigga does wild steroids <laughs> and is out there killing niggas, yo. And we love it. But if Harry catches fifty snitches <laughs> for like six years. We're saying that's uh, that's not e- that's easy. I can yo, just do that. Yo, you you trying to tell me that the other niggas in the background can't get a moment to shine? This nigga been shining for like six no, I movies, get it, baby. But I'm just saying we gotta but, not like this, my boy. Yeah, no, nah, we got to because it's it's one thing if Harry scored like sixty points and it was like, damn, this nigga was going back and forth the whole game, going crazy. He just caught one little mosquito, but bro. It's fifty, it's like fifty games, dude. Son, like hate that nigga for that games. shit, son. Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah, continue. Ron anyway, goes crazy. Yeah, he goes fucking nuts. He's out there wild and showing off. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking like, yo, this nigga Harry really did one for the squad. Like he really held his man's down. Whole time, like I said, this nigga is getting his shit off. Hermione is like, uh, you know, I think at that point, no, no, no. So he 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 looks like a superstar at this point. The game yeah. ends. Everyone's on this nigga dick. Like this nigga, he is the they man. Like, now. Goddamn, like you they are chanting this. Weasley. He's never even heard his name chant like this before. Everyone called that nigga Ron. This nigga getting his last name on some fucking yeah, like is. this nigga. They they treating this nigga like a professor, nigga. 
So anyway, <laughs> calling this nigga by his last, it's some wild shit. Nigga, so anyway, yeah, they respect that nigga. Yo, this nigga, like I said, this nigga got the bitches. Everybody got the bitches in this movie. So now Ron's super stalker girl is like tonguing him down, and she does it like. And Hermione sees. Hermione's mad jealous. She kissed the shit out this nigga. Kissed the Hermione. shit out this nigga, son. She leaves or whatever. And I was just like, oh, you know, teenage love, blah, uh, blah. But she's like boo-hooing, crying outside, yeah, son. Pissed. This nigga Harry approaches her and she's just like out there. And to make it worse, he's out there like, um, you know, like cuddling her or whatever. Like trying to make her feel better. She's like, you're my best friend, Harry. Why would he do that? Blah, 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 blah. And he's just trying to like hold it down because... Ron is his man too, so he, I can't throw him under the mans, bus. Bro. You know what I mean, it's like, yo, you know, I know it hurts. It hurts the way I hurt when I saw Block. What's her name? Jenny. Well, yeah, uh, well, what's it like? It's uh, that's how it hurts me. You know what I mean, and she's like, oh, blah blah blah, thanks. And all of a sudden, this nigga Ron pops up with the stalker shorty, and she's like tonguing him down, like, oh my god. And he's just like, yo, what's up? What's up, Hermione? She good? And she shoots like her fucking wand at this nigga. And he's just like, yo, bitch, you treading. And he just leaves with his girl. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what this- is she doing? What is what was her game plan there, bro? Like, what the fuck was her game? He's like, yo, I'm going back to my shorty. You tripping, son. Like, I'm not dealing with this shit. Anyway, like I said, um, what happens after that? So yeah, yeah. So he got his shit off. He fucked up um, uh, Hermione's feelings because, like I said, she was literally uh, crying all the shit going on. They also caught Malfoy uh, gate crashing because this nigga was doing some sneaky shit. And they were like, yo, you got to get the fuck up out of here. And Snape shows up. And like, I'll, get, I'll take him out of here or whatever. I'm just like, yo, this nigga's really a traitor, son. Snape, stop being weird. This nigga's really a traitor, son. Like, he really got to keep this promise. Because of this fucking pinky swear promise. They got this magical pinky swear promise. Nigga bugging. Yo. So anyway, uh, Jenny's still shooting her shot at, at fucking Harry. I mean, like, they're sitting on the couch, and she's like, yo, you want cookies, nigga? She feeds this nigga the cookies. And I'm sitting there reading this, like, you know there's a, a mass murderer. <laughs> hey, man. Everyone's horny. Everyone's what are we? Horny. What are we doing right yeah, now? Fuck it, bro. <laughs> this is the time. This is the best time. So she's feeding this nigga, and I'm like, yo, they're really gonna show this her feeding this nigga cookies? Like we really gotta. Like what's up with J.K. Rowling? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing right now? Anyway, Ron shows up, third wheel, sits in between them. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. He's just like, yo, you want a muffin, my nigga? He's like, nah, I'm good. I was trying to fuck your sister, but whatever. Like, like you just, no, I mean, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I was trying to, you know, I was trying to get the cookies, but you got in the way, nigga. Yeah, like, <laughs> no way. I ain't even get the cookies. I want. I, yeah, I ain't get the real. You know what I mean, I'm trying to get them gingers, but anyway. Oh my so- god. <laughs> oh my god, ginger snaps. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, uh, trying to feed that nigga cookies or whatever. Remus feels like something's off. Like, cause you know what I mean? Like he's still here. My nigga Remus from uh uh what was that? Um Prisoner of Azkaban or whatever. Yes. Um yeah, I see how I would be remembering movies and shit, nigga. That wasn't even in my notes, nigga. Um yeah, so he's there, he's like, yo, nah, something don't feel right. And all of a sudden, like a fire surrounds the whole crib, and you see Bellatrix, and she pulls up, and instantly this nigga Harry goes full. Like killer mode, nigga. Yeah. Like he chases after he her. Was going crazy. And to make the shit worse, but I do appreciate it that they added that in because like he runs off the chaser or whatever. And then Jenny just out of nowhere just chases after. I'm like, yo, hormones are insane, yo, bro. Crazy. Cause she just chased this nigga. Like, I was like, he about to go kill somebody. Like, why are you she she ride or die? So they have the running scene, and I feel like that's one of my favorite parts because she's just like, I kill serious, I kill serious. <laughs> I was like, yo, this yo, bitch is tripping. Bugging. <laughs> I, yo, you stupid bitch. I was like, yo, you know I what? Can't. When I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, that was Harry. Bellatrix, when I catch you, Bellatrix, Bellatrix, when I, when I catch you. When I see you. <laughs> when, when I, I see you. Because <laughs> I was like, yo, you got balls, bro. That's OD. You got OD balls. Like, you killed his man's mans, and you laughing about this shit, running through the cornfields, nigga? She was just like, yo, I kill serious. I, I looked, uh, like, I had to, like, move forward because I was like, yo, is she saying what I think she's saying right now? Like, why are you, why are you, like, this is the chosen one, nigga. Did you not see the first part of the movie, ridiculous. nigga? Like, he beat your man several times across the series so far. Like, you really trying to talk like this to him? Anyway, so Jenny's lost out there. 
the Death Eater start pulling up on her, but she finds Harry. So they're like trying to shoot these niggas off because of course they got that blicky on them. Yeah, facts. So you know what I mean? They Six using years. it. You know what I mean? Practice. So they 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 holding them they niggas off. In. You know what I mean? Then Rima shows up. Um, uh, I think Ron Mom shows up. Like they're surrounding the the. Basically, they form a circle. So there's like it's like thirty six chambers, nigga. Like we got it's a perfect circle, yeah, nigga. Yeah, we're wilding. Know what I mean? And the Death Eaters, they all do like a look towards each other, and then they pull off, and it they literally go back to Ron's crib and blow that shit up. They they light that shit up, and I was like, that's fucked up. But that was smart. That was that was smart because you had them niggas run mad far into the cornfields, nigga, knowing you could fly. <laughs> it was like yo, fuck that house, nigga. Like it's up. It's up for y'all, yeah, nigga. Crazy. I was like, all right. That was a good evil plan. Yeah, that was a nice plan. It was a nice plan. It was a nice evil plan. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, like these niggas, it's cold outside. Y'all niggas cold as ice, son. Like it's cold. It's the middle of the night. Like you guys fucked up out here. Cool. Whatever. Harry's like searching through more memories in Dumbledore's office because clearly I, he needs to know some shit because there's way too much shit going on. All I'm trying to do is fuck Jenny, nigga. Like, I, we, we got to solve this shit as quickly as possible while she still sex, likes me. Yo. Like, she still likes me right now. I got to get through this shit. So he's going through, like, old um, old memories in um, Dumbledore's office. And Dumbledore's, obviously, he's around. He's just like, yo, that memory right there, that's just corrupted, nigga. That's not the real memory. And I got a job for you. See that new nigga, the couch nigga that we brought in, nigga? Like, I need you to be a double agent. I need you to become his friend and I need you to feed me information. I need you to find out what really happened that night because this nigga's been lying. He tampered with the memory. Like, it's up to you, Harry. And I, in, my, in my head, I'm like, yo, why is Harry still like a student? Always why am I a student? He might as well have a job and he get, he get paid for it because like, he also taught niggas spells. Like, Harry has done mad jobs for free. Like, why? This is not internship, my nigga. Like, I still got to pay to come here. Like, why? Why are we still going through this? This don't bullshit. make no sense to me. It's bullshit. This don't... And, and I'm the chosen one? Come yeah, on, my nigga. Like, y'all got to put more respect on my name. You got to at least say please, my nigga. Like, you're not just going to just barking out orders to me like I'm not that nigga. So. I need you to do this. Like, yeah, like, like, who are you talking to, nigga? That shit, that shit was crazy. But anyway, yeah, so he's just like, yo, you got to become friends with this nigga. Like, I need you to, like, get this information. He's like, yo, I got you. I'm going to try to figure this shit out. Because apparently um, Tom Riddle wanted to know some shit about some, like, foreign uh, forbidden spell, but they don't really go into details about what the spell is. He's like, yo, I need you to find out what happened that night, and we're going to figure this shit out together. It's like, cool, got you. So Harry, never doing this before, goes straight stabler from svu and just powers this nigga with mad questions he's like yo i am not and you are cop my nigga you are cyclops my nigga you are cyclops in me right now and i don't like this shit <laughs> so i'm not answering no questions without my lawyer president nigga fuck all that i'm sure this is a dumbledore thing this feels like a dumbledore setup nigga that nigga don't do no new styles and no new nothing nigga like he's still using them whack corny shits we did when we was kids and i know what it was just like Fucking Malroy knew your little disappearing act shit, nigga. Like the shit is the is nigga, the thing about the old days, nigga. They the old days, nigga. Shit don't work no more. So he's like, fuck, I fucked that up. I got he kicked that nigga out. So he leaves. He goes back home. Who does he find at home? Uh, uh, I think it was um Ron or whatever. Like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he finds Ron or whatever, and uh, they're like, uh, I think. He they they were like drinking or some shit, and if he finds out that the 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 wine the the wine was poisoned, and uh he's like you know foaming at the mouth or whatever, and uh you know him being the the potions master he knows like what's the best way to like fix this or whatever, doesn't fix it it makes it worse. Now Harry's trying to figure some shit out. He grabs something from like the the um the closet or whatever, saves Ron's life, and now. You know, Slughorn's like, damn, I almost killed this nigga by mistake. Like, oh shit. So the teachers are talking with this nigga the next day, and they're like, uh, they're they're in the um the hospital or whatever. Yeah. And you know, um, Ron is wrapped up. This nigga's like Wolverine. <laughs> this nigga's yeah. sitting there like, yo, like niggas try to kill me, son. They try to assassinate. Nah, me. niggas try to take my life, son. Many men. And uh, his girlfriend shows up. His creep girlfriend. She's just like, yo. Uh, Hermione, why are you here? This is my man's. Like, I'm fucking him. Like, 
I'm trying to fuck him, but this movie's not letting me. So I need you. This PG you, 13 right Yeah, this PG 13 things. movie is getting in my way of fucking my man. And I need you to leave because you you all up in his space. I don't like that shit. And she's just like, yo, nah. Ron's is my homie. I knew this nigga way longer than you. Like, who are you? Like, for real. And she, like, you could hear Ron start talking or whatever, which was fucked up. You could hear Ron start talking. He's just like, oh, so. Uh. And literally in the caption, it's, Hermione. Uh, I was like, wow, Ron. Wow. Way to gaslight your girl, bro. Nice. Get out <laughs> way, here. way, Get out way of to here. get. She's, she's just like, oh. She was here for Cloud. Oh. She got to leave. So she like runs out. And even even Dumbledore was like, oh, the sting of young love. Yo, I was like, yo. Yo, shut the fuck up, <laughs> nigga, and help my friend. Like, yo, like, what is going on with this movie now? Like, we're. There's a killer on the loose, guys. Like, we need to, like, stick to that shit. So, anyway, uh, Hermione stays there with her boo. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. he called her name twice. You know what I mean? So, they're sitting there uh, in here. What a fucking piece of shit oh way God. to just, like, to to end that there. arc of, like, romance that meant nothing. It made no sense, like, bro. Like, Hey, it, it oh my god, me. I guess I lost <laughs> because he's like, I'm done now. It was it's, just like, it's, okay, whatever. Anyway. Okay, um, meanwhile, all this shit is all this teenage love is going on, and Malfoy is just on Moving. demon time. So this nigga's doing weird shit with this closet, and I'm just like, I need to know what's going on with this. And he keeps putting shit in there and it's disappearing. It's like, yo, where's this shit going? And they finally show us that it goes to where he was meeting the niggas before because there's an old cabinet there as well. Yes, sir. So them shits is linked. So they could like transport shit Hello. from there like to Hello. the, the Hogwarts Hello. to a uh, magical foot and wall whenever they want. You know what I mean? Facts. It's like being able to transport from fucking Times Square to... Canarsie or some shit, nigga. Like, these niggas got the bullet train. You know what I mean? So, like I said, this nigga's moving weird about the closet, and they're not really giving us too much information at the time. But, okay. But it turns out that he was responsible for Shorty getting cursed. So, he's definitely involved in some way. He's moving crazy with that ugly-ass necklace. And then we find... And then uh, the, the wine that was poisoned. And it's just like... So, niggas is definitely trying to assassinate Dumbledore. They give this nigga this ugly necklace that never made it to him. They got this nigga some wine, even though the wine wasn't going to work because he was the one who smelled the wine and was like, this shit got poison. In it. Yeah, that ass. He was like, this is fucked. The only other who person who that? could smell poison is Wolverine, nigga. Like, I'm crying. He could smell the infrared. <laughs> yeah, he could smell the infrared spectrum. I'm sure he could smell poison. He's just like, yeah, niggas is out of my head. I got to go take care of some shit. So, yeah, uh, all this shit is going on, and we have... um. Harry's still basically getting the girls at this point. Like all this shit is going on, and this nigga is literally still getting bitches. And so it's just, still on his body. Yo, like <laughs> shit makes no sense to me, but it's like, okay. Um, Harry and uh he has this moment where like he is going after Malfoy because he's like, I know this nigga is involved somehow. This nigga did some shit with the poison. And while he's leaving, uh when he was leaving uh Ron's room, he saw this nigga and he was like, Yo, this nigga's moving deviant. I gotta follow this nigga. And in a moment before, like, Harry, like, interrupts, Malfoy's having second doubts about all the shit that these niggas yeah. ask him to do. And it's like, yo, I can't do this. He's in the, in the bathroom crying and shit. Like, yo, I'm just, I'm not built. You niggas want me to kill Dumbledore. Like, I, I'm just the the rascally, mischievous like, I like kid. being annoying, but yeah, I don't like, like being a murderer. I don't want to kill nobody. Like, I just want to get on niggas', niggas nerves a little bit. Like, I want to be like Roger, nigga. Like, from Doug, nigga. I just want to... Be a little whimsical and a little annoying. Yeah. I want to kill. I want no bodies on me, nigga. Yeah. This nigga's going through it. Um, All that shit is happening. And we get to a point where uh, he's looking at himself in the mirror. And then you hear Harry. Yeah. And this nigga, he got to put the mask back on. Because it's like, yo, I can't be pussy in front of this nigga. That so he shoots at this nigga. And they start having like a face-off cast to Troy. They having a Magical real back and forth. I'm like, yo. They shooting at each these other. These niggas man. is really they squabbling. They squabbling, son. And then, in one of the funniest off screen moments <laughs> for me thus far, this nigga Harry, he got that dog in him. Son. Yo, <laughs> he, he got that dog in him. <laughs> hit the nigga <laughs> with nigga. one of the the forbidden spells cheap in that book. Guidebook nigga. spells. This and nigga looked like he got caught with a shotgun at point blank it, range. It nigga. dead look 
like when the anime character open his sword and close it and then there's a bunch of slashes around something <laughs> and then they just have mad cuts that's dead what look like him and I'm, I don't know what that spell is I was just like yo yeah Harry did that shit and I'm Ooh. not gonna lie Harry had the same reaction we yeah, did like, he was <laughs> like oh Oh shit! I know he's gonna do all that. I you know what's mad funny? What's like, I wonder what he thought that spell would have done. Like, personally, I thought it was like a paralyzing spell. Like he was gonna get that nigga back for the train shit. And I was like, you took it too far, bro. Like it's like a nigga made a joke at you in front of bitches, and you were like, oh wait till I get my gun. I think, <laughs> like, thought, Yo, like, I think he thought it was like like a knockout spell. Yeah, like one of those spells that hit you and you just fucking faint. Like, so when he walked over and this nigga was cut up, I was like, blood. what did you I'm do? Like, what did you do to him? He even was like, what did I do to him? <laughs> Snape pulled up, was like, whoa, where'd you learn that? Like, nigga, what? <laughs> so then Harry just leaves, and I was, I was like, you know what? I understand because I would have probably did the same thing because like. Yeah. I don't even know what I did. I should probably get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. So this nigga Snape heals uh uh my nigga Soldier Boy. Draco, like big yeah, Draco. Drake, big Draco. You now I mean heals this nigga. All the blood goes back into his body or whatever. The the wounds heal up. And I was just like, all right, I guess that's I cool. But this, got these shits. Yeah, like but yeah. None of this makes sense. But okay, cool. That's fine. Um Harry sitting there with the book. I guess he, you know, they kind of fast forward, but they kind of give you the idea that he um, told Hermione and Ron what happened, and Ginny's there. Somehow she's a fourth wheel in this group now. Yeah. Like, it was a trio for like six movies, and now Ginny's and just now a gang one of the now. younger year people could just like I guess chill. chill yeah, it's something. like okay, and she's like, that's how I knew that she was like a plot device. It was just like she just came out of like your best friend, your two best friends are there, and she's the one that's like, yo, I'm gonna help you get rid of this book. I'm gonna help you hide it. Your best friends don't feel a way like yo. They don't want to help. Your why? best friends don't want to help you. Why my man's not helping me? Like why your sister helping me, bro? I would feel some type of way. Yeah, it's just like this not weird. It's not I weird. I guess they was trying to fuck. So. <laughs> yo, that's literally what it was. It was on some like they was uh, like yo, if we could just send my yo. He was like yo, he likes my sister. It's yo. on some Scooby Doo shit, bro. Like yo, like uh, we're gonna go this way. Yo, and the Velma, rest of you... <laughs> Shaggy, and uh, Scoob, <laughs> you y'all go, go that this way. way. <laughs> We, us two, we're going to go this way. That's what it felt like. And it was just like, this is weird, but okay. Y'all forcing this romance down my throat. Like, I don't and like, I don't like it. I'm not vibing with this and it don't feel natural at all. So they go, they, natural. they go to, to the room or whatever. And she's just like, give me the book, Harry. Like, hold my hand. And I'm like, okay, whatever. She takes the book. She hides it. He, she's like closing his eyes and she like kisses him while her, his eyes are closed on some real player shit. And she was like, yo. That was kind of player. She, no, it was player. Because she was like, yo, she you know, it's the up. room of the lost and forbidden. She was like, we could leave this lost here too. And hey, then just fade it out. I was hey. like, whoa. Hey, she kind of, she kind of won. She, she got the hell on off. She got that line off. I was she like, got that dog in her as well. Yeah, That's I was like, you know what I mean? I was like, she got that line off. That was that was smooth. That was real fucking smooth. So anyway, um, like I said, he kind of uh uh helped hide the 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 potion. I mean, she helped hide the 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 book or whatever, the Half Blood Prince book. And at this point, like Harry knows, uh, he still has to get the job done with Slughorn, and he's like, yo. Uh, I think it was Ron who was like, yo, you just, maybe you just get lucky. And he's like, oh, shit, nigga, luck. Yeah. I still got this shit on me, nigga. Plug the device. The I could just take this shit and be lit. So he takes it, and they're like, yo, um, so what are you going to do now? He's like, yo, I just got to go see Hagrid. And they're just like, that doesn't make any sense to the plot of this movie, Harry. Like, you you should probably go see Slughorn. He's like, nah, I feel like the writers are telling me I should probably mm-hmm. go see Hagrid. So nigga goes to see Hagrid. On his way to see Hagrid, he bumps into fucking Slughorn, mm-hmm. who was like literally cutting the plants or whatever, like doing some illegal shit. He's like, yeah, bro, um, I gotta go see Hagrid. And he's like, yo, you can't leave the school premises, though. Like, that's why we added all this security. Like, you're not supposed to leave. And he's like, well, because I'm that nigga, you could come with me as yeah. a student, you know what I mean? That and ass. you could fuck with me because you know I'm that nigga. And we could both go see Hagrid. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, one, I respect it. Yeah. But two, as the teacher is like, you're not going to be talking to me like that. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> who are you? You're not going to be talking like, to me I like I know this. who you are, but get the fuck out of my face. Like, well, you're not talking to me like this. This is not. That shit was kind of, that shit was kind of, I was just like, okay. I was At that point, I was just like, turn your brain off, Dennis, because that yeah. made no fucking sense at all. But okay, cool. 
So he also gonna... a dick rider though. Yo, he that's true. That's true. He's he was kind of like a, a Avengers Coulson. He kind of was. He kind of was. Um, so they go to Hagrid, and uh Hagrid is mourning over like this giant tarantula. You know what I mean? Um, and so does Slughorn, apparently. And these niggas drink at the end of the night and they're like talking. And uh, Hagrid passes out, which is crazy because you're the big nigga. You should be able to drink this thing under the, under the table, but cool. And Slughorn is like kind of just sitting there and he's just like, he tells like this creepy story. I had to rewind this shit, but it made sense. He's just like, yo, I know why you're here. I know what you was trying to do, but I still can't do that, my nigga, because the story, the real tale, my nigga, is so fucked up that I just don't want to have to tell it. It's like, yo, bro, like, but... Listen, I'm about to tell you something. And this is when his Riz was at. I don't know if there, it, at any other point in the series it reaches this high, but this was maximum Riz Harry Potter. This is what the Harry Potter was looking in the first movie. This nigga walked over to this man and said, Listen, I'm about to tell you something that other people only guess. I'm that nigga, okay? And the only way for me to stop Voldemort, because I'm the only nigga that can do that, is if you stop being a little bitch. And tell me what happened in your memory, my nigga. That and ass. I'm sitting there like, God damn, this nigga Harry grew up, nigga. He was dead an adult. In I was like, movie, hold on. The who whole second this? half of the movie became like a good movie. Yeah, I was like, whose man is this? Why are you talking to me like this, son? Like, who, where did you get this courage from? He, you telling this he old was... nigga to boss up, nigga. And what he bosses up. And he bossed up. He bossed. He told this nigga what happened. And what made the whole shit worse is when he tells him what happened. I was like, you a bad teacher too, son. This nigga was just like, yo, so I got a question for you, teacher. I just hypothetically, if I killed a nigga, could I split my soul into two and kind of like hide part of it? That way, if I die, I don't really die because I could live forever. And he was like, well. Yeah, technically you can't do that. It was like, well, how would one go about doing it seven times? Get ass. <laughs> he was like, wait, hold on. You're just asking for academic reasons, right? Because this is gonna come up on a yeah, quiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to know. How but would if I, I be just able to split my soul into multiple seven pieces? Different ways, and I could just live forever, hypothetically, for class. He was like, all right, I got you. Well, this is how you do it. And it was like, good looks. Thanks. Hypothetically, thanks like, for <laughs> bringing him here, Dumbledore. And like, word, and then like, if I'm Harry at this point, it's like, yo, the le- the the linear, like li- the the leadership in this school from like Dumbledore, it's so bad to like him picking teachers to the teachers that he pick and what they're teaching students. That's why my life is fucked up. Yeah, it's literally all goes back to Dumbledore's <laughs> teachings and him picking people up and him like. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. This is all y'all. It's all based off of Dumbledore. His parents died based off because of Hogwarts. Like, it's yeah. Like what? Yeah, just continue. (laughs) And then to make it worse, this is what makes that that whole situation worse for me. Not only is it Dumbledore's fault, nigga, you don't even fix it. You wait until I grew up. To be like, yo, you got this. You you I'm got this, right? I'm gonna send you on these missions, <laughs> and I'm gonna just kick back here, and you figure that shit out. Why well, I gotta clean I mean, up your mess? If we my papers dead, nigga. If we keep going. <laughs> it's, he finally did a mission. He finally does a mission. He he does, and this part was kind of cool with me. So he he literally tells Harry like, yo, I know I I can't keep doing this. This is the sixth movie, but I need your help, Harry. I need you. I need you right now for this mission. I found one of these Horcruxes. You know what I mean? Like we could destroy it, but I can't do it by myself. I know I'm supposed to be that head nigga, but you that nigga now. You've been moving out here. Your, your bars is crazy. Niggas is feeling your mixtapes. Like I need you right now. Like I, also, need, I need you for my album. I have here. also been sending you to to make songs since you've been like. 12. You've been going crazy. So now I need you to help me get hot on my album that's coming out. You know what I mean? I need, that, album. I need that Potter feature. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> I need you to stamp you gotta me. You blow me up. Yeah, I need you to stamp me to these young niggas. And he's just like, yo, I got you, Tish. I got you. Just 16 to 8, nigga, what you need? So these niggas go on their mission. If Off rip, it made me like Voldemort even more. Because it's like, yo, this nigga picked some of the wildest places to hide. Yeah. I was like, yo, you know what? If this shit was real, 
you probably live forever because I'm not going yeah, in there to get that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm not once, doing the shit that they yo, have to do. Once I saw what that cave looked like, I was like, this why this nigga's that man, son. Like, I wasn't go, I wasn't going in there, bro. And then not only is it in this cave, the wild shit I gotta do to oh, for I gotta cut my hand, I gotta get blood on the wall to open to this yeah. underground shit. And then once we get under there, the boat to move across because we ain't even you would think wizards would just have their fucking brooms and would just float across the river. No, these niggas gotta take the boat. Magical boat. So you niggas get in the boat, get to the other side, and what's waiting for them? Not the thing that they came there for. No, you gotta drink this special fucking oh, liquid. That makes you go mad. That makes you go insane. And then, and only then, would you get access to the shit. Yeah. And you gotta drink all of it. You can't take a sip, nigga. Yeah, you gotta man, finish the man. whole shit. Empty. Empty that oh. shit. This is finally when Dumbledore is like, you know what, Harry? It would be kind of crazy if I made you drink this. So I'm going to drink this. I'm going to be the old nigga and do it. And no matter what I say, nigga, make sure I drink this shit. Drink this shit. So in that moment, I'm like, yo, I wonder what that shit tastes like. Because like, that nigga was going, to, he was trying to plead. He yo, was yelling listen, at him, nigga. Honestly, said, Kill me. I, was, I was like, what's the worst drink for me? Like, I feel like that's like a warm V8 splash or some gotta shit. Like, it just, <laughs> it just got to be poop like, and it's, water. Like, it's got to be water like, and it got to be chunky. <laughs> and, and I would fucking be yelling, Kill me. I would, honestly. What double when Dumbledore said that? Yo, I yo, he, water, when I when it. you make Dumbledore step out of his character that way, yo, bro. He ass. I was like, this nigga's act, he, he finally got it. Act. Like, yeah. <laughs> Zary, no more. He was like, please, 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 please. I was like, you're supposed to be the cool please. chill nigga, son. Look how oh, they got God you acting. Damn. Look how they got you acting, son. I, was I like, get it though. And I was like, you know what? Voldemort's Yeah, that nigga drinking poop water. Chunky, that's ass. You want to kill me? This is what you gotta go through, nigga. How dedicated are you to kill me, nigga? That's real, nigga. How bad do you want to kill me, nigga? You gotta, you gotta swim through this, this, this pool of shit if you want to murder me, nigga. And to make the whole shit even worse, because I'm sitting there like, damn. And he's just like, yo, Harry, water, oh water. He was like, I got you, big homie. Like, I'm sorry I had you drink that shit. I got you, water, nigga. And he tried to scoop the shit up, and it kept going through the cup. I was like, this nigga Voldemort, bro. Oh, <laughs> you a oh, cold oh, motherfucker, bro. <laughs> that's sick. You a cold motherfucker, son. So then he goes to, like, the actual river, which I understand the, the situation where it's just like, this nigga's dying from thirst. You got to get him some water. That little mad on sanitary, nigga. Like, yeah. y'all didn't even swim in that water. Y'all took a dirty boat through that shit. I don't think I want to drink that, but I get it. So right before he does that, I just knew a hand was going to come up. And of course, yeah. it's like 400 uh, Shadow Possession uh, Smeagles Yo. from fucking Lord of the Rings that pull Ridiculous. up, nigga. <laughs> and they fuck my nigga Harry up. They pull him underwater. And this nigga uh, Dumbledore was trying to reach for his wand. He finally got it. And this nigga lit that shit up, son. Yo. This nigga went full... Sasuke Uchiha, nigga. This nigga had time. fire everywhere. Time. This nigga was going crazy, son. I was like, I respect it. I respect it. He manages to save Harry, and then they they dip. They they got the they got the uh, the hork crust. Uh, it was like another like necklace pendant or whatever. Got it. Get back to the crib. Whole time these niggas at the crib. What happened? This nigga Malfoy up to it again, nigga. He got all the Death Eaters in. You know what I mean? He let the back door open. He let the he left the window open. These niggas came through the cabinet. Oh my god! Niggas showed up on some gangster shit. Everybody got they got they blickies out. Of course, they showed up at the perfect time because niggas Dumbledore's weak. You know what I mean? He almost died just now. You hand is fucked up. You know what I mean? He's walking different. He like Ace. This niggas walking different. <laughs> talking to breathing different you know what I mean <laughs> and, and he looks at Harry he's like yo bro everything that's about to happen I need you to not do anything just stay under the ground unless I call for you nobody can see you none of the, what, I don't matter what happens I just don't move my nigga so he does he listens this the big homie still I mean he be feeling himself sometimes but that's still the big homie so he listens this nigga Malfoy pulls up and it just, it's just like Soldier Boy, he's just like, yo, pow, 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 I'm gonna shoot this nigga, pow, pow. He didn't want to do it, 
But it was like, yo, bro, if I don't kill you, Voldemort's going to kill me. And honestly, the way he's going to kill me, he ain't going to be as merciful as I am when I kill you. So, like, you got to understand. And in that moment, you literally see uh, some sort of competence in uh, Dumbledore because he was like, yo, you're not really an assassin, my boy. Like, you don't got that heart in you. And you know what? I know you don't got that heart. You just a whimsical kid. You like to do a little mischief, but you're not a bad kid. He's like, you don't know what I did, nigga. He was like, well, you did give that necklace to try and fuck me up. You did poison the wine, my nigga, but your heart wasn't in it. You're not really a killer, my nigga. You don't got that. You don't got that heart, and you don't got that dog in you, son. It's like, yo, you right, but shut up, though. And then who shows up? This nigga Snake. Oh God. And I was just like, if it was just my son Draco, he'd have been all right. He gonna make it. Yeah, but Snake fall up. It's it's not fair. Then they do they do that one trope that they always do in movies where it's like you get kind of like silence for a second with like the person that's watching and that's Harry, and then you get the silence of like um, Dumbledore just kind of looking, he's just like do it, and then he does like that hesitation. Yeah, he did that New Jack City like I want to shoot him. <laughs> no, I got to. She was my nigga Dumbledore, son. I was just like wow, killing curse, man. Um, nigga really sh- niggas killed Dumbledore, my nigga. Damn. And this and Harry couldn't say shit the whole time. He was just quite he he listened to the big homie. And then they went on like a killing spree. No, not a killing spree. They went on like a destroying spree. Cause Bellatrix, she fucked up the whole student hall. She was just knocking shit down. Like, yo, fuck. She was like, yo, fuck your fort, nigga. Like some snoop shit. Like I don't give a fuck about your fort, nigga. Like, she was just knocking shit over, breaking shit apart. It was just like, how's this movie? Like, where are you going? What is this? What is this? What's happening? How, like, we just lost our main... Pre- it's like Avatar, nigga. Like, when we needed him the most, <laughs> he died, nigga. <laughs> he even disappeared, nigga. He died. He's dead. Like, He's gone. How are we going to get through this now? So these niggas is, like, literally destroying shit. And then they're like, you know... We going to Hagrid. Let's turn up the racism. Let's let's get the black dude too, nigga. Oh, so these niggas going to Hagrid's crib, and Harry on some real shit is running up on Snape like, "Yo, you pussy, nigga." It took that five of niggas to try and take my man down. I don't like that shit. So he starts using the spells, and he was like, "Oh, I remember that spell that fucked up Malroy. Take that shit, nigga." And he just blocks the shit and shoots it back, and he falls down. He's like, "Yo, my nigga." <laughs> You thought you was going to use my spells against me, my nigga? So who you think I am, nigga? Nigga, I'm the half-blood... Pr- I was, that's the part of the movie that made me go, oh... I was like, oh, he said the thing, first of I all. I was like, second. oh, that's cold. That's hard. That's cold. You cold as ice, my nigga. I said, fuck. I was like, damn. This feeling like Endgame, nigga. Like, are they going to transport back in time? Because what the What's fuck happening? is about to happen right now? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it's not looking good for the gang, son. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, they destroy Hagrid's house. Fucked up. That was mad unnecessary. Know what I mean? Like, they ain't have to, like, set this shit on fire. He ain't even do nothing. This they nigga the be, worst. Like, for no fucking reason. They wanted to kill uh, Harry, but Snape said, he was like, nah, you know, that's the, the Dark Lord's uh, treasure or whatever. Like, don't touch that nigga. Like, fuck up Hagrid. He ain't nobody. So they leave Harry alone or whatever. Um... And you literally see, and the whole time all this shit is going on, you can literally see the dark cloud in the sky of like just Voldemort just that watching ass. this shit on some Zordon shit, just like, like yes, sir, y'all did it, yes, sir. He said Snape did that shit. <laughs> it's like I fuck with that nigga. I like him. Yeah, they squabbling now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, facts. <laughs> so anyway, we get a flash, but we get a flash forward to um, Harry running back to the school, and you see nobody has moved Dumbledore. He's still on the floor, and everyone just kind of holds their like wand up. And Good then time. you you literally see Voldemort again in the clouds, looking down. And in that moment, I felt like the camera on Limerick. He was just like, "Yo, kill you, shoot the funeral up, and Harlem shake at your wake, nigga." Because oh, it was just like, "Yo, like I I know he killed you." But I want to watch, nigga. Yeah, like I want to see this shit. So he stood. He was just over them, just watching the whole time. I was like, yeah, he dead. And then he leaves, and it was just like, yo, bro, that ass, like, Son. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> so then we get like a flash forward, like Harry, like 
kind of chilling by himself and like Hermione, his main homie shows up and is just like, yo, he's like, I don't think I'm coming back to the school, bro. Like, on the dead homie Dumbledore, I gotta finish what he started. You know what I mean? I we got I gotta spin. Mm -hmm. I gotta spin. Like niggas, niggas took serious from me, and they took Dumbledore. I gotta you say, spin. Yeah, it's over. I gotta spin. Fuck school, nigga. Yeah, when my little cousin died, I said, "Fuck school." Fuck that fuck school. Right? Sure. <laughs> I gotta spin on this nigga. So they're like, "Yo, come on, Harry. You really think we're gonna let you spin by yourself, my nigga? Yeah, we like, gonna spin with you. We let's, gonna spin, said, let's bro. Let's finish the year, but let's also spin. Let's spin, nigga. We let's gonna get spin. these goddamn Horcruxes, nigga. You know what I mean? So the movie ends like that. So my biggest problem for the movie for me was the last like 40 minutes of the movie was is so actually great. good. It could have been a 40 minute movie and I would have enjoyed what it. What the fuck was the rest of that love story bullshit lot, that had the, nothing I to do like with I feel like all nothing. the love story was so much fluff that that actually took up a lot of the movie's time. It ruined the movie for me. This is one of the like worst movies to me. It ruined the movie for me cuz honestly it started off pretty good. Then it was just love story, love story, love story, love story. No explanation on what's going on. Love story, love story. Then we turn up to like the actual plot of the movie it's at the stupid. end of the movie. It's like stupid. by the time shit started happening, it was 20 minutes left in the movie. And I was like, bro, it's are so y'all dead ass? Dumb. It's so fucking dumb. What was the pacing behind this? Like, this is terrible fucking pacing. This makes make no sense. sense. This is this is like when you have a series. It's it's like what we talked about with like Moon Knight and shit. Yeah. Where it's just like, how do you wrap this up in an episode? You can't. You can't. So it's like, yo, we just watched three episodes of nothing, and then in a the final episode, this is what I came to the series for. I feel like for. this is one of this, the, those times where it would have helped having a part one and part two. Probably, yes. That would probably be better. It would have been one of those things where everybody would be like, ah, part one's kind of boring. And then yeah, to and it was like, part like, oh, one was the setup crazy. for part two, yeah. but part two was like insane. The crazy shit, yeah. I would have preferred that. Like, literally, the final 40 minutes of that movie is great, but it happens at the end of the movie. After mm -hmm. I watched the Quidditch shit that had nothing to do with Mad anything. Shit that had nothing to do with All nothing. the love stories that had nothing to do with anything. And it was just yeah. like, what was the point of all this? Like, we could have just skipped. Just wasting time. It didn't have to be two and a half hours, bro. It like, it could have literally been an hour and a half movie. They could have literally cut yeah. this shit down. Yeah, this movie was like, kind of, it felt like it dragged way too much. It did. It definitely dragged. I give and, it a two out of five. And or see, 2. I, 5 out of five. wow, that's crazy because I was going to just give it a three. Like at best, because it it's not like it was. Uh, it wasn't horrible. It yeah, it wasn't horrible. Like you know, y'all saw how I rated like the first movie. I'll probably never watch the first Harry Potter movie again. I don't care about that shit. But at least I felt entertained. Like at least it stuck the landing. I guess I give it a three. So I give it like a three. It's still passing. Like the first three, one is a two point five for me. Like that that was just not good for me. I but this I enjoy this enough to give it a three. But it has its faults, and which is a lot of them. Which is yeah. the literally the first hour and like forty minutes of the movie is like the fault out of a two and a half hour movie. Yeah, I'll give it a three out of four. Um, yeah, so I give it like a three. It's not getting higher than that. I hope the 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 I don't know how many are left. Like two more, three more. Like I hope them shits. I hope more. they land it. Oh, it's two more. Okay, I hope they land it because currently, Goblet of Fire is still holding it down. I will feel you. And that was the that was the movie that made me kind of say like I. You know, I didn't respect your game. I'm sorry. I wasn't familiar. I, I didn't know. But now it's kind of making me take that back. Like, nah, nigga, actually, I kind of did nah, know your game. it's just the I thing about it is, and I, feel your, like your they passes, did, I feel like they did really good with, like, Harry Potter's growth. They just didn't show enough of it. Like, right. I felt like the moments that they did, we was like, oh, Harry's real. But, like, they didn't do a lot of that. Exactly. And when they did, it felt like you stretched it longer than it need to. Because you could have showed that he was mature without bringing, like, 17 love triangles yeah yeah like you just show sure. like oh yeah he's confident with bitches now like he could talk to women and like i'll be like okay like that's enough for me like the the first diner scene that was enough for me to be like God, yeah he, oh he got, he, he got riz he got unspoken riz and then yo. the way he talked to to slughorn was like yo spoken riz, I, I know <laughs> i know you know what the people say and yeah i am that nigga like so help me take this nigga Real, out that man. was enough for me it's like oh there's the growth i believe in that nigga but all the other shit that just served no purpose i didn't need that it didn't do anything for the story and it just felt like they gave up on those stories after the four, final once it hit that four, final 40 minute mark they were like mm, yeah jenny and uh hermione and ronnie none of that shit matters like we're yeah. back to actual like problems now it was like we don't give a fuck 
it was weird. Whatever, man. <laughs> so know. yeah, um, I don't have any final words. Yeah, honest. he don't have any final words. Like I said, for me, um, Goblet of the Fire still that movie. I do. I, I would say Prisoner of Azkaban would be second for me, um, and uh, I guess maybe Order of Phoenix. I don't know. Maybe in that order, but definitely Goblet of Fire and then Prisoner of Azkaban. This is just it's passing. But I'm pro- I'll be honest with you, I probably won't watch it again. Like, you probably get me to watch Goblet of Fire, like, no problem. But I'll probably not watch this again. Uh, or just fast forward to, like, the final 40 minutes where shit gets popping. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't got any other final words for y'all. But uh, we're winding down, y'all. There's two more movies left. Y'all got me to watch all the fucking Harry Potter. It's two it. movies. I even so bought close. the game and everything, y'all. Like, yeah, I'm, I got, I'm, yeah, I got to got the game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm saving the game for like when we finish, yeah. so that way if there's Easter eggs in the game, I could be like the yeah, Leo. Like, I, meme. Like, oh, I got it. I, I, I know what that, that. means. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, as always, this has been another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast, providing you with that high quality nerd commentary. Subscribe, leave a review, tell a friend. We're currently doing like X Men reviews, and I mean on Patreon. If you're planning to watch the X Men '97 series, link up with your boys. You know, what I mean, we doing like these episode reviews, and you know how the Harry Potter and the Twilight reviews have gone down. So you already know what the X Men shit is going. That's a fucking. You fact. already know. What we, you know we the type of shit. timing we on. You with know. that X-Men shit. So sign up to the Patreon, you know what I mean? Um, it's five bucks a month, baby. Like, we the only, we the only streaming service, Dennis Plus, we the only streaming service that has not raised our prices. Netflix is about to raise their price again. Disney's raising their price. You can't even share your accounts, my nigga. Like, you can't even share with people no more. Why you not fuck with us? You know what I mean? Get that Dennis Plus, you know what I mean? We got the Night Deviant, you know what I mean? <laughs> we got mad shit uh, literally on the way. Um, you can find me on all social media sites, Old Dirty Dennis, that's O-L-D-I-R-T-Y-D-E-N-N-I-S. You can get my cards on Etsy, that's Art by Den, D-E-N-N. If you need cards now, you know what I mean? If you in a three-way relationship, you know what I mean? Like my nigga Harry, and you fucking with Shorty at the diner, and you need a car for her, but you don't want to have, like, your other boo see it, you go to Walgreens, you know what I mean? You, you go to Digital by Den, D-E-N-N. I mean, you download the file, it's like $3, you know what I mean? You go print it out at Walgreens, in Magical Walgreens, you know what I mean? Five cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Five cards. Every shorty. Every me. shorty. I'm not even looking at you crazy for printing out five. You can print out as many as you want. You know what I mean? So do you that. You should only do two. You should, you know what I mean? Don't, don't wild out on me, do. but you know... If you got the riz, you know what I mean? You got the riz. But if you got unspoken it. riz, 11 o'clock riz, 11 p.m. riz, you, I, what I, you, you might need to drop like a, a, a few extra threes, a few extra threes to get to the variety, just for no, variety. Just for variety, just mix it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, Yeah, Uh, you can find my cards. Like I said, Uh, have a second podcast, you know what I mean? It's uh MetaHumans related secret pods. We like 10 episodes deep, real shit. We're talking about uh, uh mental health. We talking about inspiration, you know what I mean? Being consistent in life and shit like that. And it's only like, you know, five, six minutes, baby. Like, you good. Um, You can find my son Colton, though. The Colton Show, T-H-E-C-O-L-T-O-N, mm-hmm. S-H-O-W, underscore, underscore, on Twitter specifically. Yes. Everywhere else is just The Colton Show. Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, uh, TikTok. I'm streaming a lot again. This nigga uh, playing also, games. my portfolio dot theColtonShow.com. That's all my pictures. Uh, the culture show.com. I have a website. Um, also, will be a lot of like events and things coming soon. And uh, I got from a little dirty birdie that uh, night DV episodes are Ooh, in production, buddy. You know what I mean? Um, send us home, bro. Give us a final quote. Uh, that's crazy that you use that because um, camera zooms into Snape's face. I'm <laughs> the half blooded prince. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we out. We out. <laughs>